Hi guys, welcome back. Jay here from BornToBlues.com and in this extra bonus video, I'm going to have a look at the Beat Designer MIDI insert. So I'm just going to create an instrument track with Groove Agent on it. So come to Drum, Groove Agent, Add Track. And let's just choose something, don't know what, Hip Hop Kit, that would do. Okay, and let's put the tempo down. 96 or something like that. So with the Groove Agent track selected, I'll come to MIDI inserts. And as I say, I'm gonna use Beat Designer. This is a way of creating your beats within a grid. Now I don't normally use this process, but a lot of people do, and it's very, very popular. And people that are used to Fruity Loops perhaps are very used to working within a grid like this. And you can create a pattern here, and then you can move over to the next sort of pattern space and create more patterns and then you can just flip between the patterns either by triggering it by MIDI or by using your keyboard. So let's just have a little go. Uh, first of all you can resize this window. It's the first thing I want to mention because it's a really cool feature. You can have this quite small or you can have it quite large. That's really handy. I find that brilliant. You can audition the sounds by clicking the speaker icon. And the names obviously correspond to what's on that particular trigger note. But if your name's, actually that said high floor tom. That's not a high floor tom. So you just wanna come over here to the top icon and just check where it says no drum map. Just come to create drum map from instrument and you'll see that the names actually have changed. So they weren't correct before, but they are now. So you've got kick one, Kick two, snare one, clap, snare two. There you go, that's a cowbell, it wasn't a tom. <laughs> so that's how you change the names to correspond. So let's just create something very, very quickly. To input a beat, you just left click. If you want to take it away, you left click again. Uh, you can also change the velocity by clicking and dragging down or up. Yellow is the hardest and black and red are the lowest. Let's just put metronome on, press C. Not a very nice sounding kit, really, but doesn't matter, just for demo purposes. So you get the idea, you can easily create a beat in a grid format. Now you can change the number of steps. We've got 16 at the moment. You can change that here. You can have more or less steps. And you can change the quantize, the resolution, so you can change it to an eighth note. We're on 16 at the moment. You can copy patterns and things. We'll come back to this in a second. Copy patterns, paste patterns. No undo function on this beat designer. When I try and select a whole load of them, uh, it just draws them in. And I just accidentally changed the name of that, uh, the, the actual sound. I accidentally pressed on kick. 
So you can change the actual sample here as well. You don't have to have the ones that come with it. Yeah, on the right hand side we've got swing and you can affect the swing for each individual channel or instrument if you want individually here and you've got a global swing at the bottom so you've got settings one and two so let's say you've got i don't know kick and snare on setting one and the clap is on setting two you can change these swings as much as you want everything else is on settings two so you'd set your global swing settings down here for setting one and your global settings for, for whatever's set to two down here You can hear that swing in quite a bit there. So that's quite nice because I've got it set so it's just slightly off the grid. So that sounds a bit more natural, so that's quite nice. If you want more instruments or more channels, come down to the lowest instrument and press the plus. Keep pressing plus and you'll have a load more. And you can come in here and assign them as I've already shown you. On this side is the flam setting. So if you're not sure what a flam is, it's a, a two or three hits of a drum very, very quickly. And if you hover over any one of these notes, there you go, got it in yellow now so you can see it better. Can you see the three little dots? That means it's a flam. It's quite fiddly actually. And you can select either type one, two or three flam hits. Let's do it on the snare. It probably sound a lot easier to hear. So if I highlight all three dots. Now obviously that's quite obvious and the distance of the flam positions can be even more apart if you want. And you've got a volume of the flams as well so you can have them going up. Or you can have them going down. This is Flam type three. So let's have a look at flam one. That's a lot quicker flam. So that's flam settings. And yeah, just quickly coming back to this drop down menu, you can copy and paste patterns. So let's say we copy this pattern here and go over to the D key and let's paste. Right, let's change a few things. Take out the cowbells, some of the hats. In fact, we'll take out, press Alt and you can reverse whatever's on there. Say you've got a load of hits on there. If you press Alt and drag, it'll reverse. So if a note was on, it will go off. And if the note was off, it'll go on. And you can shift everything to the left. I'm, I'm going to do the paste in a minute. Let, let's, let's do one thing at a time. Uh, let's copy this pattern and go over to this one and paste it. But let's shift everything over. Let's say to the left. So it shifts everything left. So now we've got different patterns on each of these pattern banks. And you can, if you want to, drag them in to your project and you can see the pattern there in the drum editor. You can still go ahead and obviously change the pattern again if you want. You can put the second one in there, which is a different pattern, and the third one, of course. So what we need to do, it's now, it's now triggering both. So we need to just quickly turn off Beat Designer.
there we have it so the, the last one sounded a bit out of time because we shifted everything to the left but shifting everything to the left or the right might just give you that groove that you wanted another thing i've literally just discovered is if you hold down shift and then drag your notes you can drag them to the left and right as well so that's really really cool uh, you've got a load of presets in here as well you can load or save your bank here but let's load one there's loads of presets that come with this funky house put the tempo up a bit it told me that it was 130 obviously you can have it any tempo you want but let's just try 130 get rid of the midi here Now that's obviously using the hip hop kit, so you'd probably want to come back to Groove Agent and load up Funky House Kit, if there is one in, it should be one in here. Funky Rave. Okay, there's not a Funky House one, but let's just put in House. Cool. So you've got four banks of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got twelve pattern banks for each. Don't know what to call these but sections if you like. So you've got quite a lot of scope. You can have twelve on here, and then you can move over to the next section and then twelve again. Move over. Okay, so I said before that you can trigger these different patterns with your keyboard, but at the moment when I do it. I'm just triggering the actual sounds so what you need to do is press jump up here and you can see that when I press the keys it changes to the next pattern in the sequence so let's just have a little look at that with the track playing And if you want to change the actual bank or the section, I should say, just go up an octave. So I've, I was choosing C1 there, so let's go up to C2, but there aren't any in there, to be fair. And then C3 would be that one, C4 would be that one. So on this particular preset, Funky House, we've got 12 programmed. Just choose a diff different kits. Don't think that's quite tying up. Let's just try house kit two, see what happens. So that's how you flip between the different patterns live. And when you've got now clicked down, you can switch between the patterns immediately. And when you don't have now down, it waits to the next measure. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And of course, as I showed you before, you can drag and drop them in if you prefer to do it that way. Depends if you want to play live or not. So you can also fill the loop with the pattern here, the MIDI information, or you can insert the pattern at the cursor position. You can insert the subbank at the cursor at the left locator. So you get every single subbank. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp, exactly all the way going up. So you could literally just play. It will play. It will just cycle through the whole lot. You'll see these moving down here. You get the idea, they're getting more complex as they go along. So I think that's uh, enough for this particular lesson on beat design. I hope that was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye bye.